Hello everybody and welcome to week 8 of Nuts About Squares Crochet Along. This week not one but two squares that we're making. We're going to be making Cat's Claw that's been designed by Margaret McInnes and we're going to be making Tropical Delight which has been designed by Susan Stevens. A note on the squares for this week. For Cat's Claw you'll be using the regular size hook that you also used for week one and week two. So for the stone wash this is a three and a half millimeter hook. For Tropical Delight you'll go up a hook size. So a four millimeter for the stone wash for example for the Tropical Delight. So please take note don't use the same hook sizes for both. The reason is the um, Tropical Delight tends to be a little bit too small if you use the same hook size for both these squares. So go up a hook size on your Tropical Delight and use your um, standard, your regular hook size for Cat's Claw. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be showing you for both these squares the extra round that we'll be making to get our stitch count to 44 stitches. First do the Cat's Claw and then do Tropical Delight. A note on how many squares you should make. For Cat's Claw you're making two squares and for Tropical Delight you're making just the one. This is a very intricate square and there's an awful lot happening in this square and I didn't want to have you do three of these because that's just going to drive you totally insane. But I do love this square so that's why there's only the one square and we've got then two Cat's Claws squares for this week. So now I'll just show you the extra round on both of your squares. There's a different video showing you how to make each of these two squares separately. For Tropical Delight, from corner to corner, so from chain 2 space to chain 2 space, you have 37 half double crochets and we want to bring this up to 44 stitches. So we're going to have to be adding quite a few stitches to get our stitch count correct. A new color yarn on my hook, this is color A for your squares. I'm going to start in any chain 2 corner space. I'm going to start with a standing half double crochet. And if you note that your squares are still, that even though you went up a hook size, your square is still too small, feel free to do a double crochet here. That's two half doubles, chain 2, and two half doubles in the corner of Tropical Delight. Now we're going to start on the edge. We're going to skip the first stitch. It's going to be that one there. See there? It's that little stitch. We're going to skip that stitch and then work two half doubles in the next stitch. It's one and two. In the next stitch work one half double and in the next two again. One and two. On the next 29 we're going to work one half double on each. And this is going to bring us almost to the other side. So it's 29. So it's one. Two, three, four, this is twenty eight and twenty nine. Brings us almost to the other side. At this point in the next stitch, we're going to do two half doubles. So one. Two half doubles. In the next stitch, do one half double, and the next stitch, do two again. And the next stitch for me here already has a slip stitch join, so I'm just going to have to there go. Just punch my hook in a little harder. It's one, two half doubles, and then on the last stitch before the corner, do one half double on that last stitch. At the corner again, two half doubles, chain two, and 
two half doubles. And this corner is exactly the same as this corner. So you've just done on this edge, do it on your other three also and then close here with a slip stitch. Double check that you've got 44 stitches on each edge. For a cat's claw, we're going to start in the corner and this corner is not so much a chain two space as it is a stitch. So you see here the corner, you've got these three stitches in here and you need that center one of these three. I'm going to work in that stitch, I'm going to start my corner there. And I'm going to start with a standing half double crochet in that corner stitch. See that's a center one of the three. Then a second half double chain two and two more half doubles in all in that same stitch. This is your new corner made. Now the straight edge is actually exactly the same as for, for Tropical Delight because your stitch count between the corner stitches is the same. You're going to skip the first stitch and then work a half double. So the first one is going to be this one. I'm going to skip that stitch and then go to the next and work a half double. It's so one, two half doubles, one on the next, and two on the next, one, and two. On the next 29 stitches, going to do a half double on each. One, two, until you have twenty nine, three, four, five, twenty eight, and twenty nine stitches. Have a few stitches left till the corner. The corner is again that center of the three stitches, so that's the corner stitch. On your next, do two half doubles, one, two, on the next do one half double, on the following two half doubles, one, two, and then on the last stitch before the corner, one half double. Your next stitch should be the corner stitch, that's the center of those three you work there, that's your corner stitch. I'm going to work two half doubles, chain two, and two half doubles in that position. And two. And once again, this corner is the same as that corner. So on the straight edge, repeat this on your other three sides also. Close here an invisible join on the first stitch and do this for both of your squares, both of your cat's claw squares. When you've done the extra round on both squares, or actually on all three of your squares, you're finished with week eight of Nuts About Squares. I hope to see you next week for part nine.